Now we're going to use column addition to add numbers with increasing complexity. So here we have lots of different numbers with a different amount of digits. Now when we're adding, it doesn't matter what order we add in, but for the sake of this question, I'm going to start with the biggest number. So I'm going to put 81,059 into my column. I'm going to then put 15,301, so I need to make sure that I line up each place value column. Now I'm going to put 20,551, so you can see that I've lined up my units, my tens, my hundreds, my thousands, and my ten thousands. That just leaves me with 3,668, which needs to go here. 3,000 in the thousands column, 668. You'll notice that this number doesn't have a value in the ten thousands column. So I'm now going to use column addition to add this calculation together. So 9 add 1 is 10. 10 add 1 is 11. Add 8 is 19. So I've put 19 like that. This 1 has been carried over to add to the next column. 5 add 0 is 5. 5 add 5 is 10. Add 6 is 16. Add 1 is 17. So again, I've carried that 1 over and put the 7 there. 0 add 3 is 3. Add 5 is 8. Add 6 is 14. And add that 1 is 15. So again, I've carried that 1 over. I'm going to put a comma there to show that I'm now adding up the thousands. So 1 add 5 is 6, add 0 is still 6, add 3 is 9, add 1 is 10. So as with the others, I've carried the 1 there to make 10. And then the last column, 8 add 1 is 9, 9 add 2 is 11, add 1 is 12. So I'm going to write the 12 like that. The reason I haven't put this 1 under here to carry is because I don't have anything else to add it to. So I have to put it into my answer, which means that my answer is 120,579.